Good afternoon, everyone. Today is September 19, 2017, 3.30 p.m. It's time for the Council on Aging meeting. The first order of business is the I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jim, would you like to take attendance? Okay. Alice? Present. Joe? Present. B? Present. Janice. Janet? Present. Joyce? Present. Pellegrino is not here. Donna? Present. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> That's my Pellegrino. It's my name, Pellegrino. Okay. Okay, uh, Donna, would you like to read the minutes? Okay. Um, Which paper is it? Do you have them? This one. Yeah. This one here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 3 21 17. This is Oh, turn the mic. There you go. 3 21 17. This is Bouvia read minutes to the audience. Mr. DeOria, is that how it's said? Gloria made a motion to accept the minutes the way they, it was read. Mrs. Buteri seconded unanimous vote four to zero. There was no old business. New business was discussion of improving senior services. Mrs. Langlois asked the members if they had any ideas of what can be done for seniors in Dudley to make them want to come to the senior center. Mrs. Bouvier noted regarding bingo, most of the seniors are going to Oxford or Webster Senior centers for bingo since they now offer it on Fridays. Mrs. Bolteri asked whether or not the Dudley Senior Center will be planning any senior trips. Ms. Langlois set, then read a flyer regarding a trip to the Ark Encounter and Creation Museum in Ohio. This trip will be from September 24th through the 30th, 2017, or it should be 2018. You, it, you have 2017 here, but yeah. isn't it 2018? No, this has already gone by. Oh, all right. Call Margaret for more information. The cost will be $680 based on double occupancy with $239 added for single occupancy. $75 deposit is due upon signing and the final payment will be due on July 17, 2017. Mrs. Bouvier thought that many small day trips would be nice. Coordinator's report, April and May 2017. Ms. Langlois announced there is no coordinator's report since Margaret Fusier has been on vacation. Other business. Mrs. Langlois read notes from Mrs. Boussier about going on in May. She also read an article from the SCM Elder Bus regarding services. However, they have changed their rates as of July 1st, 2017. In town is $1.50, one town out is $1.75, two towns out is $2, and three or more towns out is $2.25. You may call 1-800-321-0243 in advance to reserve trips. A list of special shopping trips is posted in the Senior Center. The agenda for March was not posted, so the board revoted on 11, 15, 16 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mr. Deloria made a motion to accept the minutes the way it was read. Mrs. Boteri seconded the unanimous vote four to nothing. Coordinator's report for February, March, and April, and March, April. Mr. Deloria made a motion to accept the way it was read. Mrs. Boteri seconded unanimous vote four to zero. Annual Town Report, FYI, 2016. Mrs. Bouvier made a motion to approve the report the way it was read. Mr. DeLoria seconded unanimous vote for nothing. <coughs> Mrs. Bouvier noted that she takes some, someone to bingo in Oxford and explain their games. She stated that the bingo board is still in surplus in the Webster and someone should write to the Webster Town Administrator to request donating to Dudley. Mrs. Langlois will speak to COA coordinator Margaret Boussier. Mrs. Bouvier stated that not many come to play Bukino or Scrabble in Dudley because it is too cold in the senior center and nobody wants to come. Mr. Delorius will look in, 
on the internet to find a used board and present it to Margaret or Greg. Next meeting and adjournment. The next meeting of the Council on Aging will be on Tuesday, June 20th, 2017 at 3.30 in the Dudley Municipal Complex Veterans Memorial Hall, room 321A. Mrs. Bouvier made a motion to adjourn. Mr. Delorius seconded unanimous vote, four to nothing. Meeting adjourned at 3.55. Respectfully submitted by Joan Gardecki, COA Secretary. Will someone make a motion to accept the minutes as read? I will. I'll accept your motion. Second. Second. <laughs> All of those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Now we have appointments and resignations, and I, <clears throat> I want to thank, we have three new members on the Council on Aging, uh, Joyce, Donna, and uh, Janice. Thank you for joining us. So the new appointments, Beatrice, Bouvier, Josephine Boteri, and myself, Alice Langlois, is appointed by the Board of Selectmen on June 19, 2017. Terms expire June 30, 2020. Donna was appointed by the Board of Selectmen on July 10, 2017. Her term expires June 30, 2020. Janice Brady, appointed by the Board of Selectmen on July 24, and her term expires June 30th, 2019. And Joyce Cordero, appointed by the Board of Selectmen on September 11, 2017, and her term expires June 30th, 2019. Uh, we have a resigna resignation, and we hate to see her leave. Joan Gardecki, our secretary, resigning effective September 29, 2017. You can't do it. <laughs> right. Trying so we have we have also uh, have to do the nominations for a chair. Uh, would someone like to start the nominations? I nominate Donna. Donna for chair? No, no, no not for no. chair. No, I nominate for you for chair. Yeah, Alice. Yeah, yeah. Alice. For okay. Chair. Any any other nomination? I accept. Uh, for vice chair, Donna. I will nominate Donna also. Can I ask what does that entail so that I... That just means if I'm not here, you take my place. Okay. That's all right. All, all right. <laughs> not a big deal. Okay. Thank you. I accept. Okay. Thank you. Won't be chasing me okay. <laughs> Under old business... Did you make the, you know, the motion? Do we have to make a motion, Joe? Yeah. yeah. Is there anybody okay. else? Motion yes. to accept minutes as read. Someone... No. 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 The nominations. The nominations. Oh, the nominations. X. Help me out here. Is there anybody else? Are there any no nominations? No. Okay. Uh, everybody, everybody in favor. Oh, okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. All right. Um, now, under old business. Under old business. You want to do vice chair? Huh? You want to do vice chair now? Oh, we didn't do vice. I thought we just did vice chair for Donna. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Uh, make a uh, motion. All those in favor of Donna being vice chair? Aye. Aye. Second? Second. Second. Okay. Opposed? No. Okay. Uh, are we all set on that, Joan? You got a vote. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what, all those in favor? Aye. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Or second? Jim seconded. Okay, you seconded it? Yeah. Okay. All right. We all set on that? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. There's a lot this, uh, this month. Okay, uh, old business. Don't you want to read the report? No, not yet. Okay. Next thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, that is a COA report. Okay. Well, let me just read this here. Okay. Uh, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that over here. Okay. There's no old business. New bits. New business. Discussion on improving senior center. Uh, senior services. Uh, Dawn, I recommended that we start uh, the movies, and we have done that starting. 
we started on Monday, September 11, um, showing movies after lunch. And uh, so far we haven't had a big response, but hoping that it's in the paper for the movies. I don't know, but is it in the paper? I haven't seen it in the yeah, Webster I, Times. I, the Debbie is not even in anymore for Senior Center. You know, now and then it it's is. sporadic. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, yeah. this is it. They should really be every mm -hmm. week. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, it's been yeah, very, sure. it's been sporadic. We'll have to talk to Margaret about Margaret it. Margaret submits it, but they just don't want it. Don't want oh, to put it in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can mention it to her, you know. Uh, and also, I, um, she, Margaret wanted me to mention that it's been very cold. Yeah. Uh, the senior center. Freezing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't know, what do you, what if we try to write a letter to Greg, you think, Joe? Could try that. Yeah. You know, it, when I was I, 66 there yeah, Monday when I was there. I mean, it's 80 degrees Even outside and it's 50 yeah. degrees. Oh, but <laughs> it's I thought they were going to put a new fixture in here or something. When? They're gonna, aren't they going to vote? They're going to vote. Oh, at the meeting? Town meeting. Yeah. To vote, to put a new system in it. That, that's what I heard. Well, I don't know if that's true. Well, that's, that's what they did. That's why it's so cold and uh, yeah. Before well, it was hot, they couldn't, uh, maybe they I can couldn't talk control to the heat and the air conditioning. Now, well, talk to Dennis, you get Dennis first. Just Dennis probably Dennis would know. Dennis would turn right? it down. Yeah. yeah, they've been turn down. Turn the thermos down. Yeah. That's it. That's they've what they have there. to do. Yeah. But when they came to cool. check the heating system, and the cooling system and all that, and they said, oh, it's working fine. You yeah, know what? I, it's it's cold. just as yeah. cold down there in the winter. But let, let's it wait until I do the past. You know it's very, very hot. You know, it gets in there, so. Yeah, so then we got to check yeah. it up a little bit. A lot, of, a lot of people get sick, they don't want to come. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed one morning, I go to um, Aging Backwards on Friday mornings. One morning, the door was closed. She what? One door. morning when I, the door between the senior yeah. center and the, the hallway, mm -hmm. and it was warm in there that day. See? I'm wondering if keeping that door open is making it run, run more, you know, the air conditioning trying to keep yeah. that whole hallway. Because it was it. cold air blowing in. On oh, the, okay. The, yeah, because we've done, she, my words, done that at other meetings really with warm. the door closed. Yes, the they day, went, that day it was very, it was overly warm that yeah. day. But I think probably was off because my words done it for the meals uh -huh. and kept the door closed. And we kept uh -huh. it for about a month. I mean, we have to open up the bathroom doors to keep putting, bring heat into yeah. that room. You know, and I, I don't think, I, I think they need, it's just a system, it's just blowing cold air, even if you have the heat on. You know, and it doesn't encourage people to come when it's they cold. Don't. Like no. Yeah. Oh. The office is cold too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So How many people usually come to the senior center? I haven't been there. Does it depend on what the activity is. Mm, I no, it's a yeah. lot of yeah, well, people there, it's comfortable. Yeah. But once they disband, it gets too, too cold. Yeah. But we have memory cafe once a month, and we have still people, a lot of, you know, 15 to 20 people coming yeah. for that. Yeah, and uh, it's still it's, cold in there. Right, but I, th it's yeah. a, I think everybody has just gotten used to who come wear a sweater. We, we yeah. I mean, I keep a sweater, sweater in my yeah. car to put on if I'm not a sweater. When we play bingo on Friday afternoon, we need a winter coat. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We do. I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah. Put a blanket on me. Good. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. And then I, I, I can come down because I like that. It's cold. <laughs> nice and cool, you know. <laughs> Okay, so is there any other uh, new business? Anyone have suggestions for the senior center or I the think seniors? Yes, Dennis, about that. Uh, yeah, he will, he will yeah. control yeah, that. We already discussed yeah. that. So how is Jimmy doing about the con See, everybody seems to agree about this damn bingo that a Friday afternoon would be very, very good because now Webster doesn't have it on a Friday anymore. I didn't think they had it on Friday. No, mm. but they did for yeah. Sometimes so not, yeah. not, and then they have it on a Sunday sometimes. Mm. But I don't know because you had said something about the price of one the last time you and yeah, I spoke. Yeah, I looked at that. It was like three thousand dollars for the whole. For the whole shebang. The whole shebang. Mm. And shebang, yeah. Mm. But I think we would draw more people because our prices are not as high as a lot of the others are. Yeah, but some people go for the for the money too. Well, that's true too. Yeah. But the more people we get, the more people we can, more money we can give. Also. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's true. Well, you can bring it up to Margaret again. I don't know if it's going to do any. That uh, do, do the churches still do bingo? 
Yes. This James one just into started. It. Yeah, uh, I, I, just, I, uh, I went there uh, three times, you know, and, Polish and, church. and uh -huh. the priest told me, he said, he don't know yet, but the last time when I talked to him, the secretary says, no, they have somebody they're going to start it again. Oh, okay. They did and that's, start it. And that's what, you know, I, I did, I, I, I yeah. did go and uh, check that. Do you know of any other and churches who, uh, Except, you know, except, you know, for putting uh, put in, in, uh, into uh, <laughs> face, Facebook, um, saying that we the senior need, uh, is you know, for a donation and event. maybe, maybe, but even if you have to pay a little bit, you know, but not $3,000, you know, that mm. this, well, I don't know. I, that, it's, it's. Well, if we the, knew, the, it would be. The money's there. The money's there, but you know, just but to a, spend for some it and reason. not have it come back. Is, yeah. You know, just to. I mean, because I think we might have the money anyway. But still, if you spend that money and no one still come, doesn't come. You know, because it, bingo was popular at a lot of the churches yeah. years back. I don't know how pop. I don't know how popular it is anymore. A lot of places have stopped because. They don't have the people coming. Right. They don't have the money. People, you know. Right. So a lot of well, that's, you know, I'm, I'm sure somebody's got one sitting around the somewhere. It's just finding the person that has it. Yeah. And I, th I think if it, if, if it do something here, because they used to go to the old church over here, a lot of people they used to have, they don't go there no more. Maybe here for them, they were the nearest place yeah. to travel. And maybe if they have something like that. But like I said, you know, it just, it, we we went through that before, and the Greg says there's no way so. they're going to spend that kind of money too mm -hmm. um, to do that. Well, let's 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 do it this way. I don't know too much about putting ad in in a thing, but maybe maybe put it. You know, uh, Alice knows, and we could research somewhere somebody has that they don't use anymore, and we can make a donation. You know, either Craigslist or maybe Facebook. Right, right. Um, yeah, something Margaret, like that. I think Margaret's quite savvy on doing things like that. Mm -hmm. So maybe we could talk to her about that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, it's, it's, <coughs> there's no reason not to, to search and see mm -hmm. if somebody yeah, just sitting around and offering you. Yeah, handy with the computer. Yeah, so yeah. our computer's being moved <laughs> tomorrow night. <laughs> All right. Oh, they take yeah. your car away. They take your computer away. They're gonna take everything away from you. No, the problem is, is that because my son is so ill. Okay, let's he's not get a, off he's track. Got a, here, he's okay? moving in with me. Right. Are there is there any other new business? Anything uh, other you want to talk about? Well, I, have, I, had, I had mentioned it to Margaret. Um, you know, maybe taking like a trip to like Yankee Candle in Deerfield, mm. a bus trip. I I don't know if that would be anything. Well, the, she was talking about getting more trips, like monthly, every two you know, months. I and, mean, and she was, uh, was asking people for ideas of where they would like to go. And I don't know where that has gone. But she's trying to plan at least every two months, if not every month, for a trip. I That's know a lot the last of one, what, quite a few people went. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was yeah. a lot of fun. That's a lot of yes. walking at the Yankee Candle. Yeah. 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 You know, I, yeah. the, it's just a suggestion. Or yeah. even, even to... Um, was we're 12. supposed to go to the black and white uh, huh? restaurant in Spencer. Okay. Yeah. So, could mention it to her. You know, um, even like a Christmas concert, like the Trans-Siberian orchestra yeah. thing in Worcester yeah. I mean I you yeah. know and everybody paying their own I mean but you know yeah. providing transportation you know because like I don't like to drive at night yeah, yeah. and most people no, don't. don't and then yeah. the trouble parking the car yeah you know yeah. so I mean if you've got a bus or something that's yeah, taking parking. you people would might go yeah. Yeah. a lot of people yeah. I have gone with the people from Southbridge to Las mm -hmm. yes oh that's and you'd be that's, surprised the people that go to see the mm -hmm. lights of it, Yeah, it's beautiful. It is, I've been there. You mean yeah. the lights? At yes. Lesser it's lesser. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, we can be a good trip. Let's, 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 stop. Stop. let's make a motion. Yeah, let's make a motion at the oh, yeah. Yankee Candle because we have seven of us already that we like to go there. So. I mean, it could even be and, in the spring. I you know, mean, you know, it, it's. Let's make a motion. Yeah, you don't want to go there. Well, now is a I good time. I make a motion. The, the, yeah, the, no, in the fall. No. Isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful in the mm. fall. Oh, God, in the fall. It yeah. would be gorgeous. Well, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a restaurant there, too. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's another thing. Michael has started with uh, last month, it was the, the plant that you. The, yeah. Uh, yeah. Somebody from. Yeah. From the farm. Bemis. Bemis. And then Monday, she's coming that's, back yes. for the wreath. 
Yeah, we're going to make a lot of people yeah. like that stuff. I'm going to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would. I've been there once. I've never been to Yankee Candle. It's beautiful. I've heard it is. I've oh, I've been there many times. Yeah, I've right. never it's been very, there. Very, very nice. And the foliage yeah. is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And it goes there. Oh, it's good, money. too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the only problem somebody is somebody's got breathing your problems. Card 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 you know, it's, it's a little bit bad. You know, the scents. Make a motion to the Yankee Candle Assembly second, and this way we 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 agreed that that's where we want to go with seven of us and so in the past to uh, to uh, 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 Margaret okay, I'll second it. we have yeah you know you you, you have to put things down and say we want to go something and you have to put down yes. it there were seven of us already and Would if we think? if we give yeah. it the Yankee candle and uh, Greenfield Deerfield it's Deerfield Deerfield, Deerfield. 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 I've been there so many times. Would you still want to go, though? I, I feel There's a lot of walking. The ride, to go for yeah. the ride, you know. But you know what I mean? So. There are they places to nice sit. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, she went to the um, Botanical well, Gardens. Well, we we could do, we could do that, too. That, that sounds just good. Good. We, we have to make a plan, and we have people. to vote on. It's the only way to vote on, and then Margaret will uh, get all the information. Yeah, and that is what to do. You don't have to do a marathon. I don't know what it is, but I heard there's a good one over there. A what? The Wax Museum. Oh, I don't know. Oh, my God, yes. I'd like I to go to the Kennedy Center, to too, wax in museum. Boston, to see all the in things, too. That's okay. a nice mm -hmm. trip to go to Kennedy, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where so that'd be a nice trip, too. Yeah. Where is the Wax and, Museum? And, you know, we don't pay that much I for I don't the know where it is, but I heard about it. Yeah. Oh, my God, that would be the nice. I yeah. think I'd love to go see a wax museum. Mm -hmm. Wax museum. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. well, yeah. we'll make suggestions, make yeah. a list, and make, make suggestions. Yeah, that's well, it. Well, yeah. they will second that, you know, for the Yankee candle. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah. Other we'll things? Who we'll second me? That would be good to do the middle of October when the foliage Yeah, is, not any later. You know. Because right now <laughs> is the time to. And the trees are starting to. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there a lot of time, but it's I still nice love to go. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, oh yeah, it's oh, yeah. beautiful there. Yeah. yeah, I know. I had doctors up. All right, we all set on that. Need to vote. Yeah, we got a vote on. Someone well, I made a motion. Jim did. I made a motion. I that second it. Okay, that she second it. He, he made the motion. Yeah, and I second it for candle. But you have to. Vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Keep your hands down. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Okay, let's move on to the coordinators report. You feel like reading, Janice? Coordinators report was that. Have it. Uh, got nice COA report. Hmm? COA report. Oh yes. Want me to read the whole thing? Yeah. Would okay. You read that, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just the one page. Right. <laughs> this, uh, okay, the COA uh, report June to September 2017. June, our annual volunteer banquet was held June 16th. We celebrated all of our fantastic, outstanding 26 volunteers in style with a catered lunch, live entertainment. Thank you everyone for all that you do around here. July, a field trip was taken by 15 of us to West Cream West End Creamery for Prima's Farm and Valor Cafe for lunch. A very good day. The bus fare was free for all due to a generous donation from the PNA. Salvation Army. Representative Tony Ulensky contacted me yesterday to ask if it may be possible for the Dudley Senior Center to host another donation box this year, like we did last year at our Christmas party. Last year, they sent us a beautiful thank you note and explained about each family's need and how the donations were allocated. I would like to plan to do this again at our Christmas party and would like the council's support in doing so. This year, our Christmas party will be held on December 15th at noon. We already have a one-day wine and beer license for that day. The state COA grant 2018 has been filed. We have to patiently wait to see what our COA budget will be this year. There may be some unavoidable cutbacks, but we will wait and see how until we know for sure. The Common Ground Memory Cafe is doing well. Donna M. and Janice B. Would, could speak about that at the meeting if they wish. 
we received a grant from the MCOA for $6,000 to keep it going until June 2018. A memory cafe is for people who have thinking limitations due to dementia, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, PTSD, or other brain difficulties. It is a welcoming place where we come together to have fun and lo let loose, sing, listen to music, color, play games, laugh, smile, and enjoy a light meal together in a non-judgmental atmosphere. Friends and family are welcome. Stop by and hang out. The Memory Cafe is free. Our annual catered Oktoberfest is September 29th at noon. Tickets are $7 and still available until September 25th. A delicious menu variety of Bavarian-inspired foods will be enjoyed. Also, a small glass of house wine or beer. Delicious desserts, coffee and tea. Accordion Entertainment by Ed Cormier will surely lift your spirits. It will be a fun day for all. A juicing program we started last March still going on. This is a program that COA hosts every first Monday of the month at 1130. Fresh veggie and fruit juices straight out of Joanne Le Liberty's juicing machine. Delicious and good for your body. Raw juicing can, can actually accentuate heat, health. <laughs> Maybe you should have heat. <laughs> <laughs> Each cup of living vitamin juice is just a dollar donation and goes towards supporting this healthy program for seniors. Come join us. Next one is Monday, October 2nd at 1130 a.m. Jimmy D is back on October 27th. Tickets are five dollars each, available now through Alice Langlois or Margaret in the COA office. Hope to see you here for del del delicioso Italian ziti and meatballs in a thick traditional tomato sauce that's been simmered to perfection. Thanks, Jim and Alice. We are always looking forward to a yummy Jimmy D's lunch. Happy, happy fall season. Make a motion to accept the way it was read. Oh. <laughs> well, someone, well, let me know. Will someone make a motion to accept the minutes as read? I make a motion to accept the way it was read. I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, do you want to show your Italian uh, oh, yeah. poster there? Say something about that? I think that would be the time to do that. Can we see that? Yeah. This is a Jimmy D pasta dinner next month. Uh, I hope everybody will come and join us because we always have a good time and we have a pasta, meatball, salad, dessert, of course, a glass of wine over there. And a lot of fun. So please, write it down at the date. What was it that did? The seven, the, what was it that did? It's right there. October, October 27. So write it down at the date that comes down. You don't have to be just a senior. You could be a 50-year-old or 40-year-old or whatever. And the tickets are only five dollars. So it's not only bad. it's only five dollars a bit. Okay, thank you. Okay. I mean, how can you go any place with it? It's five dollars to get all. No, you can't. And then have to be just a senior. That I think we're gonna start to doing even the, some people that are fifty years old. That they just uh, don't have that kind of money. Or forty years old. I'm sure we're not gonna have any kids. If we start having the kids, then we gotta do something about. It. She has a question. Joyce has a question. Um, if you wanted to get tickets at the door, can you do that? Or do you need to get them ahead of time? Or how it's better if you well, get them ahead of time so that we have a better count of how many meatballs to make. So you would notify either Margaret or yourself? Yeah. Or? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's always a good idea, but we always make an excerpt to <laughs> people, you know, that just walk in. Yeah. But it is a good idea to... Yeah do it before, before, you know, if I know there's gonna be 50 people, I know I gotta make 100 meatballs. Of course, I make extra, right. you know. Uh, but, you know, one time we almost, we almost ran out. 
because we, we were there about 20 people walking in. Oh, wow. We had a 30 people on the list, and all of a sudden there's a 50. <coughs> it's it's yeah. almost, almost, because I always do extra. Do it, it's yeah. Almost. <laughs> we never ran out of meatballs. We always take some home, you know, everybody works, you know. But that time was, <laughs> nobody <laughs> took anybody home. <laughs> Anything home, yeah. So. Okay. Uh, and I have some uh, notes here from uh, Margaret that she wanted me to read. Uh, important, please note the new elder bus, no, elder abuse hotline for Massachusetts is 1-800-922-2275. And don't ignore your Medicare mail. It's that time of year. If you have a Medicare prescription plan or Medicare Advantage plan, you will receive information from your plan by the end of September. Please understand and save this information regarding changes in your plan for 2018. During Medicare open enrollment, which is October 15th through December 7th, you may change your insurance plan for next year. Shine counselors can help you understand your plan changes as well as any other options you may have. There will be group presentations and or you may schedule a phone or in-person appointment. Trained SHINE counselors offer free confidential counseling on all aspects of Medicare and related health insurance programs. To schedule a SHINE appointment, call 1-800-AGE-INFO or 1-800-243-4636, then press or say three. If you get the SHINE answering machine, leave your name and number. A counselor will call you back as soon as possible. Tri-Valley Inc. has Shine Counselor available by appointment. Call 508-286-6640. Call early to receive a pre-enrollment form, make that appointment, and bring your Medicare and insurance cards and complete list of your medications. Do not wait until it's too late to make changes. Tri-Valley lunches are served here on Mondays and Fridays at 11.30. A $3 donation per lunch is requested. Please call 48 hours ahead to reserve your lunch. Call Inger at 508-949-9081 or 508-949-8010, extension 3. On September 21st through November 9th, on Thursdays from 10 to 12, a matter of balance, free, eight-week workshop at Tri-Valley, 10 Mill Street, Dudley. Please call 508-949-6640. September 25th at 9.30, there's a hydrangea wreaths workshop with Tina Bemis of Bemis Farms. Cost is $15 per person. Please RSVP with Margaret in the COA office by September 22nd. Then after lunch at 12 noon, a happy birthday cake sponsored by Brookside Rehab. Thank you. Also Monday, movie matinee at 1230 featuring Hello, My Name is Doris, starring Sally, Sally Field. On October 2nd at 1215 after lunch, the Fraud Squad players, RSVP volunteers, enact some of the many scams that impact seniors, both emotionally and financially. Free, come join us. Please note no movie schedule for this day. On October 17th, Tuesday from 10.30 to 11.30, Flu Clinic here in the Senior Center, sponsored by Harrington Health. And just as a reminder for the fall schedule, on Monday there's chair yoga from 10.30 to 11.30. On Tuesdays at 1 p.m., card players, three card pitch, and Dudley Senior Woman Needleworkers. On Wednesday at 1 p.m., Dudley Senior Woman Needleworkers. On Thursday at 1 p.m., cribbage players, new players always welcome. We are waiting for a start date of Marguerite Gaddis's bi-weekly watercolor painting, which I have a note on here I'll be reading. 
On Friday, there's chair yoga at 10.30 to 11.30 with Joanne Lalibity. And lunch is at 11.30, followed by bingo. Don't forget Panera Bread. Donation is here on Friday mornings at 10 a.m. until it's gone. Thank you, Panera. Okay, now there's a watercolor painting new season begins on Thursday at September, so Thursday, September 21 from 12, 10 to 12 at the Dudley Senior Center with professional watercolorist Margaret Gaddis. Ms. Gaddis will be hosting a bi-weekly watercolor painting class which includes all supplies. Beginners and advanced levels come unleash your creative spirit and make some new friends too. The cost is $10 per class. The place is at the Delhi Senior Center dining room. Thursdays beginning September 28th and 21st and 28th, October 12th and 26th, 10 to 12. Please contact Margaret at 508 949-8010, extension three, for more information. Going live, help, October 2nd, 2017. RSVP Senior Fraud Helpline <coughs> at 1-800-297-9760. In doubt, check it out. That's by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare. And that's <coughs> it for other business. Are there any other discussions? One thing I did want to mention that there was, did you, and this few of us that went and took this class uh, on food, uh, to, uh, performing, I mean, making and serving food here in, at the senior center to prevent infection and botulism and all that stuff. So Donna, Jimmy, myself, and Margaret. Did Joanne go? Who else was no, that? That was it, just the four, it was the four of us? Do have certifications because we all passed. Very good. <laughs> yeah. That's good information. I'm surprised it wasn't in the. Yeah, and we have the, our certificates are posted up on, yeah. in the um, dining area there, so. Good, okay. The next meeting of the Council on Aging will be on Tuesday, October 17, 2017 at 3.30 p.m. in the Dudley Municipal Complex, Veterans Memorial Hall, room 321A. Will, okay. will someone make a motion? I move that we close the meeting. Mm -hmm. I second. A meeting adjourned at 4.10 p.m.